Thing, so you can kind of backdoor it just enough to get through it. It's just so hollow that you can kind of just go right through it, you know? It's a hot doggy. <laughs> it's sick out there. Look at these things.
yo me iba a morir, me iba a morir a yo ve, Que si no era contigo me iba a ser feliz, me iba a ser feliz Ay no, pero si tú no me quieres, me quiere la otra, me quiere la otra Y si te vas de la casa, vuelvo y meto otra Yo voy a ver los perros Mueve el bombo, 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 mueve Tú lo verás que ya no te voy a buscar, por más que llame ya yo no vuelvo para atrás. Tú lo verás que ya no te voy a llamar, por más que llame ya yo no vuelvo para atrás. Me voy a morar pa' Dubai, pa' tener doce mujeres Le pregunté a Daniel, ¿por qué que aquí no se puede? Y me dijo, porque son sabrosas, a un fantasma de cualquier cosa Son rabiosas, peligrosas, pero con la dominicana se goza Tú pensabas que yo me iba a morir, me iba a morir a yo me, Que si no era contigo, me iba a ser feliz, me iba a ser feliz Ay no, pero si tú no me quieres, me quiere la otra, me quiere la otra y si te vas de la casa, vuelvo y meto otra Vuelvo yo de los perros Mueve el bombo, 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 mueve el bombo Agárrate, agárrate Agárrate, agárrate, agárrate 
Explain the process. Well, you start here, then the current pulls you there, and then once you get, but if you get caught in the water, white water, then it starts pulling you this way. So it's either one way or the other, and then you kind of shoot down the center somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just, you know, we're, we're smart surfers and we like to try and maximize the fun factor. So when to do that, you know, you ride a fishy board, a gun, a long board, a single fin, you know, also it keeps it interesting. It's like riding different skateboards, you know, you got your 80s board, your trick board, your long board, your, uh, you know, 
a wide variety. Yeah, it was fun. It was kind of just looked so inviting out there. So I was like, eat breakfast. I'm like, I'm out there. Uh, it was, yeah, you could definitely just see the potential right when we first checked the wave. I just saw a wave you could make. So I'm like, oh, we're out there. And I knew Nate would love it because he loves waves like that because he lives above, or he grew up surfing Laguna and Creek. And, and but that was, yeah, beautiful little spot. It was uh, super close to shore. Just gotta get in just behind it and shoot through it. But definitely would like to surf that wave again. Gonna eat breakfast. I was like, oh, I'm gonna skip breakfast. I'll just get some barrels or something, whatever, you know? And right when I got my first wave, it was made it. Adrenaline kicked in. I wasn't even thinking about food anymore, you know? So that session was one of those ones where I was like, holy crap. Okay. The waves are pretty sick here. <laughs> yeah. It was like a full novelty, but um, supposedly that, that beach didn't even have sand 20 years ago. So it's totally trippy the way that it's all come in and, and built up. And uh, I think we got lucky that day that it was actually doing what it was doing for you know an hour or whatever. That window we got was just so fun. I think, it, I think that wave has more potential than people think it does. And people could get blown out of a big barrel there if they really wanted it. You just gotta be out there and, and you know, going for it. It's doable, you just gotta know that you can do it. Yep. You know? And Tyler and I are counting, we've done like six or seven trips together, so um, I love riding everything too. So, I mean, I come from a shortboard background, but transitioning into everything is, you know, keeps it fun. So I love traveling with Tyler and seeing what his whole act, and, and then just to meet Tommy on this trip and see what he can do on a board is pretty imp incredible. Um, it's so fun to watch and, and just the fact that we all had such different approaches was pretty fun to like, you know, all be in the water together and see what, see what everyone's doing on the waves. It was cool. And longboarding was just a cherry on top yesterday. That was just a super fun, like, novelty as well. Like, just riding Tommy's weird wide single fin thing. I was like, all right, let's do it. And I ended up having a lot of fun. So I was stoked that we went out. Nate, this is the first time I really hung out with him. Um, watched him surf a shore break wave and I've never seen anybody navigate a shore break in my life like that. Uh, just crazy that he was pulling those waves out of there and it was so fun to watch. Was that some Laguna skills? Yeah, that's some crazy Laguna Beach uh, upbringing that freaking sat, like watching him just like a surgeon out there just knifing into the just things that you're not sure that's and then he made it it's cool <laughs> yeah tommy's classic i remember the first time i ever saw him surf he was you know we were both pretty small kids he's probably 11 or 12 and he was riding this like nine foot high performance longboard and just cranks a huge roundhouse in front of me like whoa grom can lay it over on rail and i was like sick and um yeah and we were we were friends ever since he was always just a goofy guy and um just always smiling having fun and uh he's a lighthearted dude yeah just smiling grom uh catching a lot of waves on his longboard just tyler surfing is is controlled always in control smooth pretty much always kicks out of his waves clean always in style and on point and on edge i love watching him surf i'd say tommy reminds me of gumby because he's just like always stuck to his board and bending in every which way so he makes it. The longboard community, you can't even call it a longboard community because they're usually, you know, the good ones ride everything. They're shortboard, longboard, everything. So, but I think, you know, it's more of a family vibe maybe. Some of the... And same with contests and stuff. I always like that in like coalition events and where it's more like a, a gathering or like dancing and all having fun, camping in the lots, watching your friends heat on the beach, give them a high five, make them stoked. You're not like where NSSA is to me, we're always really dry and cold feeling like just like one scaffolding. No one talks to each other. Like, Oh, Timmy has more sh more stickers. <laughs> so I was always super over those things. And I think, you know, yeah, the coalition contest 
I got to meet so many people that I'm friends with still because of those, you know, we go to Santa Cruz, San Miguel, Malibu, Cardiff, uh, churches. Um, so every contest was kind of, you get to tap into these different zones and see what that way it was about and the other ways around it and what the crew was like. And, you know, people are chill, let you stay at their house. It's almost a start of something in a country, you know, where it, it's almost like traveling back in time where you can, it's like, oh, it, it's new here. Like having shaping rooms and glassing rooms and skate park, you know, possibly. And uh, yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's a rejuvenation of culture, actually a start of a, of a surf culture, you know, going deeper than just getting boards from China and other places shipping them here so yeah it's fun to you know see the waves and then you can make a board off it if you wanted to um but yeah it's a it's like a little baby that's starting to grow <laughs>